The solution to a differential equation is y equals one divided by the quantity x cubed plus one, which I've graphed here in blue. We want to determine which of the following direction fields would correspond to the differential equation for which this is a solution. Looking at our direction fields, the segments that we see represent the slope of the tangent lines at the given locations. So there are two ways to approach this. We can select several points on our function, sketch the tangent segments, then determine which direction field would match the tangent segments to our function. The second method would be to sketch the function over each direction field, then determine which direction field would represent the slopes of the tangent lines at points on our function. And we'll take a look at both methods. Let's begin by sketching several tangent segments to our function y equals one divided by the quantity x cubed plus one. Let's select three points on this piece of the function. And let's sketch one, two, three, four, five, six points on this piece of our function. And now we'll sketch tangent segments at each of these points. Now the direction field that represents the differential equation for which this function would be a solution should contain segments with the same slope at these locations. To help us analyze these direction fields, let's begin by sketching the vertical asymptote x equals negative one. Now let's analyze the graph first to the left of x equals negative one, and notice how the slopes of these segments are negative and decreasing. Looking at these top two direction fields, to the left of x equals negative one, notice how the slopes of these segments here and here are also negative and decreasing. Therefore, to the left of x equals negative one, these two direction fields look okay so far, but notice how if we take a look at the direction fields below here, notice how the slopes of the segments to the left of x equals negative one are actually positive, and again, the slopes of our segments here are negative, and therefore, this direction field and this direction field could not correspond to the differential equation for which this is a solution. So we can go ahead and eliminate these two direction fields, and now we'll analyze these top two direction fields to the right of x equals negative one. And notice how these slopes are negative, zero, and then negative again. So taking a look at this direction field here, notice how the slope of the segment here is actually positive, which does not match the slope of our solution given here, and therefore we would have to eliminate this direction field as well. Notice how over here at x equals one, we also have a positive slope but we know the slope of our tangent line here is negative. So now looking at the second direction field, notice how the slope of the segment here is negative, the same as our slope here. At the point zero, one, the slope of the tangent segment is zero, the same as the slope of this segment here, and then to the right of x equals zero, notice how the slopes of these segments are negative, the same as our slopes here. And therefore, this direction field corresponds to the differential equation for which our function given here would be a solution. Now to verify this, let's go ahead and sketch this function over each direction field. Let's begin by sketching this piece here to the right of x equals negative one. So we'd have the piece here, 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 and here. So looking at these bottom two direction fields again, notice how this piece of the function does not fit nicely into the direction field because these segments here do not have the same slope as a tangent segment at that point. So once again, we can quickly eliminate these two direction fields. And now let's sketch the piece to the right of x equals negative one, this piece here. So we have a y-intercept of positive one, and the graph would look something like this. Looking at this first direction field, notice how the slopes of these segments would not be the same as the slope of the segments to our function, and therefore this direction field would not correspond to the differential equation for which y is a solution. 
But notice how this piece here does fit nicely into our direction field because the slopes of the segments do seem to correspond to the slopes of the tangent segments or the tangent lines at the various points. I hope you found this explanation helpful.